Good morning, Facebook. Welcome to our first Live in the Classroom here at Bowersock Elementary School. I'm Erica Fernandez of CCAC Communications, and we're with Jennifer Guerrero. She's a pre-K teacher here at Bowersock. Ms. Guerrero, we see your students are busy watching a video right now. Can you tell me what we're learning today? So we are learning about position words. Left and right are very hard, so we're practicing our left, so we have an L on our left hand, and we'll do right with none. So we're learning how to code with turning left and right and forward. Gotcha. Or unplugged coding, I should say. <laughs> and uh, Bowerschlag is just one of a few schools here in CCIC that yes. are implementing the RCC program. Mm -hmm. That's robotics, coding, and computational mm -hmm. thinking. Uh, this is the second full year of this. So we start as young as pre-K with this program. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit what that looks like? So right now, we're not ready to actually do any computer coding. <laughs> we do coding what's called unplugged. And so it's on the floor. We have a grid and we will start working on moving things forward, left and right. So think of like a Candyland game um, where you have to move your pieces. They're still learning how to do that one-to-one -one correspondence. So that's what we're doing here is to learn the one-to-one -one correspondence so that when I do pull out the other things that can do coding with the computer, mm -hmm. they know, oh, this is forward, and I can only push it so many times for it to go forward, you know, two or three spaces, and then I have to tell it to turn right. and go straight again. So yeah. those are the things we're working on. And these kids are only four years old. Yes. So what do you want to tell parents about how quickly they're already learning these things and how they'll be able to implement this into day-to-day -day lives? Well, you know, I'm... Last year was my first year here back in the school, so I was like, whoo, okay, let's, let's take a break. Yeah. But these guys are like, yeah, we're ready, we're ready. And they, they're following directions, and that's what this mainly is going to teach them for right now is how to listen and follow those directions the first time okay. so that it gets done the way they want it to move. Yeah. So implementing basic right now, just following directions. Yeah, and those skills you can use across, <laughs> across the board. Across the board, <laughs> awesome. across the board. All right, well, I know you have a lesson to get to, so let's get started. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, raise your left hand, put it down, raise your right hand, put it down. Okay, so this morning we read about the group plan, right? We read about Ellie, Evan, Jesse, and Molly. Eyes this way, eyes this way. Your eyes on Mrs. Guerrero. No, thank you. So we're going to practice. We have to remember what they needed to get to follow the group plan because they're trying to make what? Pie. Oh, what kind of pie? Who remembers? What were they? Th apple, pie. apple pie and ice cream. And ice cream. So we're going to move them through our grid on our floor like we did with Pete last week to get the things we needed. All right? To get the things we needed. So you guys are going to go back, back to the back again. Back to the blue line. Blue line. Because your mommy and daddy are going to see what you're doing. All right, so they have to start out in the what? In the home. We're going to put the home over here today. And that's where they're going to go. Remember, wherever their eyes are going, that's the direction they're going. All right, so we're going to put them here. And then what were some of the things they needed? Who remembers some of the things they needed? Oh, we needed apples. Milk. What else? Sugar. Anybody else remember something? Oh, eggs. All right. Let's put the eggs over here. Okay. So because our goal is to make, the group plan is to make pie, apple pie, and ice cream. All right. So they're at the house. Grandma tells them, I need you to go get the what first? Apples. Apples. All right. We're going to help. I'm going to have you help me this time. We're going to get our sticks. We need our sticks. All right. So... How many, where do we need to go to get the apples? What direction do we have to go? Backwards. Which way? Backwards? Straight. Forward? Straight or forward? Straight or forward? How many spaces? Six. One, two. One, two. Four? No, two. All right, so if we go four. No, two, two. So, Gunner, you said four. Two. One, One. Two. two. Three. Four be over here. So do you want four? No. How many do we want? Two. Show me two with your finger. Show me two. Show me two. All right. Bethany, can you move our friends two spaces forward? Oh, this is one. 
One, big spaces. Two, all right. So we've got the apple. Now remember, they're still facing forward. What do we need after the apple? Egg. Oh, was it the egg? Milk. I think it was the milk. milk. Ah, hold on to that, Jake. Milk. We need milk. So, so one how, space. It, one space? Well, what do we have to do? Well, look, remember where their eyes are going. Their eyes are fake looking this way. It. Oh, we have to turn first. So, and then, and then, oh, are we going to turn again? Oh, we got a couple turns. And then what are we going to have to do? Go to the eggs. To the eggs? Where are we going? Eggs or milk? Eggs. Milk. Milk. We're going to the milk. So, which way are we going to turn? Let's look at our hands. Let's look at our hands. So, which way? Is that your left side or your right side? Yeah. Left side. So, we're going to turn them left. So, Diana, will you come turn them left, please? Turn them left. Turn them. Turn their friends left. Yes. Just like that. Oh, just, uh, uh, all we said was turn. Okay, hey, go sit down. Leave it there. Yes. Don't sit there. No. All right, so they go. turn left. Now, where are we going? Eggs or milk? Milk. Milk was next. The milk was next. All right. So, Jake, what are we going to do for the milk? How, which way are we going to go? Turn. Turn? No, we're not turning yet. Remember, we can't go diagonal. Which way do we have to go? Great. How many forward? One. All right, come over one forward. Come over one forward. Thank you. Go sit back down. All right, now what do we need to do? Oh, we need another turn. Are we going to go to the right or to the left? Left. Left. Good job. Kinsley, can you come turn them to the left? Great job. Thank you. All right, now what are we going to do? Max, what are we going to do now? Straight. 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 All right. One Max, one space straight. Come on. Microphone so they can hear me. Perfect. All right, so we've gathered the apples. We got the milk. Oh, we put that back on the letter K. Now what do we need? Sugar. Not quite the sugar. We need the eggs. Oh, look where the eggs are. We got to think about this. Look where they're facing. Oh, we need to turn. Which way are we going to turn? This way. This is going to be right. Turn right. Or left. Left or right. What do you want? Emmy, can you come turn? Where are you? Come on, Emmy. Come turn the friends. That way. Thank you, Weston. All right. We've turned. Ellie, now what are we going to do? We've turned. Say forward. forward. How many forwards? Four. Just Good job. One. Perfect. Right there. Nope. Just leave it there. Hold on. Two turns. Hold on. You're good. Great job. One turn. Because if we do two turns, will they be facing the eggs? No. No. So, Jagger, make them turn. Make our friends turn. One turn towards the eggs. Great job. Now what do we need to do? Move them one face straight. Tien, can move them one space straight up to the eggs. All right, we've got the eggs now. What's the last thing we need? Sugar. sugar. We need the sugar. So let's look. Oh, so we got to go over there. What do we got to do? We have to turn. All right. Turn two spaces. All right, well, let's find out. Let's see. Okay. Lou, can you come do a turn? We said we needed a turn. There we go. Uh -uh, just the turn. Just the turn. Thank you. That's one step at a time. Scoot back, Lou. Good work. One step at a time. We have to tell the computer one thing at a time because then it gets confused. All right. Shiva. What are we going to do? Good job. Like that. Okay. Go back. Okay. Now, here they are. Point to the sugar. What do we need to do? Oh, we need to turn. Two oh, turn two spaces? Three. We need to turn three spaces? Yeah. Or we just need to turn? We just need to turn. And we're going to turn to the left. So, let's see if he'll do it. Neo. 
Come here. Turn. Turn. Oh, that way. Good job. High five. All right, go sit back down. All right, so we're turned. Now what do we need to do? Go forward. How many spaces forward? Two. Two spaces forward. Are you changing your mind for the three? Just two? You're going to have to wait a minute. All right, Hendrix. Uh-oh, Hendrix. Hendrix, do you know what we're going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, look at me. What are we going to do? Tell me what, we're, what the plan is. Just one? Yeah. Oh, does that get us to where we need to be? Yes. Oh, hold on. Look, Hendrix. Where we need to go? Two. All right. Show us. One, two. Thank you very much. Good job. So, all that was a lot of steps. That was a lot of steps. Eventually, I have to teach that step to the compute to the little robot. Yeah, we do have to go. Well, they're at home. We're going to pretend that the sugar is, is in the house because the sugar was in the house. So, that's a lot of spy spaces, a lot of coding to have to do. Oh, so how are we going to get home? Four spaces. But first we have to do what for him? Three. Three. Turn. Turn, yep. All right. We are done. Thank you. All right, we're with Principal <laughs> Wendy Benicherry now. Uh, Ms. Benicherry, this is the second year that we're implementing RCC. Uh, tell us a little bit about the success you saw last year. Yeah, so the, the RCC program is a really primarily for engagement. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the content um, is directly connected to what is already in the curriculum, already in the TEKS, um, and teachers use this to increase engagement for all of our kids. And regardless of what their abilities are, mm -hmm. all kids can participate. And so it is a low floor, high ceiling initiative. Mm -hmm. um, so any kid can come in and do their very best and do the hard work, and then you get to see um, all their progress and growth um, within that project. And the creativity and collaboration that comes from that as mm -hmm. they continue to grow in their skills um, is evident ev in every project that they do. And you were telling me that uh, a parent, a second grade parent, was asking mm -hmm. you and shocked that uh, students are learning how to build robots, right? Maybe yes. not the big fancy <laughs> robots we see every day, but but they're learning the steps. And why yeah. is that so important at such a young age? Well, first of all, we know that that is going to be a lot of the career op options that our kids are having. Mm -hmm. And so for them to make the connection that what they're learning is connecting to these skills and tools that they're going to need for a lifetime mm -hmm. um, keeps it relevant for them. Um, but also recognizing that these smaller steps, like what you saw today about learning directions and sequencing and um, thinking through multiple steps. Sometimes we jump across mm -hmm. um, steps because our brain is going that fast, but sure. really thinking through all the little pieces um, in the long run help us in all different subject and um, content areas as we're learning, and mm -hmm. then eventually in our careers for us to think about how do we process through, how do we go through um, our day or different projects um, that is directly aligned to that work. And will every student that's at Bauer Schlag be learning the RCC program, or is it something that parents have to uh, 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 to try to get into somehow, no, apply for. So okay. as you can see, as young as our um, four-year-olds are use, using the RCC concepts, mm -hmm. um, every teacher integrates it in a different way, okay. in meaningful ways for their content and grade level. Mm -hmm. um, we also have RCC buddies, so okay. as the year progresses, uh, classes are paired together, and some of our older students will work with our younger students on different coding concepts um, or scratch or project um, robotics concepts that they then apply um, across to different grade levels. Mm -hmm. And so we really see it as a way to build community and support um, and to gather around um, new ideas and, and engagement and learning. Awesome. Well, as always, we're excited to see how the students benefit from the RCC yeah. program across the whole district, but definitely here at Bowerslag. So yes. thank you so much for letting thank us come you. by today. And thanks for coming by. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.